what's up, dog? Keith Kelfus with the landscaping employee trap. We're on this job site trimming up a bunch of shrubs and trees real quick. Anyways, I want to talk about this combi extension saw thing that I love. A friend of mine just called me up. He goes, Keith, I'm at the dealer. I'm buying one right now. And he asked me a specific question that I want to share with you. Check this out. These extensions are awesome. You can only, you can put as many extensions as you want on this combi saw and this this mug will reach like 30 feet up in the air wobbling around like a circus pole I promise you you'll break it but here's the, the upside and downside these extensions are extremely heavy there's two different options there's a regular steel extension and then there's this one over here that's made out of um, carbon fiber and it's way lighter see but it costs like 40 percent more it's like hundred and twenty bucks or something this one extension trust me Get the more expensive, lighter weight extension, and it'll save you about $40,000 in sh sh shoulder surgery. It's a tongue twister. Trust me, bro. My shoulders are in pain. All right, here's the next thing. These little Tommy screws right here, they're called Tommy screws. They're what connect each next extension on. If you add more than one extension to this saw, you avoid the warranty of steel manufacturer you know product recommendations because now you're treating the equipment with abusive care you're abusing it and you shouldn't have no more than one extension which is plenty I got about six of them <laughs> but so I can you know that one extra extension will reach me up on top of that tree but I'm just I'm just warning you it's really hard on the saw now Tommy screws don't let you or your employees over tighten them they will strip very easily and then it's garbage and then your saw is spinning around in a circle and that don't work when you loosen it, I should get sponsored by scale. I'm just playing, man. Totally playing. But, check this out. When you loosen it, make sure you don't loosen the Tommy screw all the way off. Just loose enough to loosen the extension. Because if you or your workers loosen it too much and you release this little nut in the back, I promise you, you'll be crawling around on your hands and knees for 20 minutes looking for that nut. So just loosen it just enough. You go down, say you go into your equipment dealer, order extra Tommy screws. Order three or four of them in a Ziploc bag and keep them in uh, your trailer because you're gonna lose them. Now the next thing is when you connect the connectors together, whether you're going to the combi power head or one extension to another, you see this little drivetrain sprint spindle in here? Well, it's a tool and die type name of whatever the ridges on here that catch the spindle parts. Let me know in the comments below. But each inside of every extension, including the power head, see down in there, there's these two little wing nuts. They're metal wing nut, wing head grippers or whatever. They, they clip and they grip inside. If you don't fully countersink, see that little arrow on there? There's an arrow right here on each extension in the saw as well, right? And there's also arrows here. If you don't fully countersink these arrows so they're 100% completely flush like this, watch, they go inside. Okay, so you think that's flush, but it's not. It's not going in. Why isn't it going in? Ah, there you go. You got to wiggle it and jiggle it or disconnect it and start the saw, start the power head just a little bit to get it to click and then it'll lock into position. Lock into position. Let it lock all the way down flush and then give it a nice tighten remember don't over tighten but give it a tighten because if you're running that thing and there's a little gap and it's spinning it'll go bzzz and it'll bust off those wing nuts and it'll break it and it'll destroy that if it happens to an extension fine but now you can literally break that and now you're gonna have to put it in the shop and it could cost you a couple hundred bucks or something so uh, with this oops I <laughs> throw it down with this you get this I think this is a 12 inch saw aggressive cut chainsaw bar and chain oil in there for you know trimming up high and then I've got the articulating uh, hedge trimmer attachment get the articulating one it's more expensive because you can you know go like that with it and uh, here you can put grease in here we actually added that and watch out for these will uh, these little screws on the back make sure they don't come loose and fall out or the blades will flop around and then you're good so we're trimming up these little ornamental trees right here or elevating these Bradford pears this is I think it's like 400 bucks each extension is about a hundred this is 300 probably like 275 
So you're looking at, I think it was like 1200 bucks for the whole setup. But I'll tell you one thing, you go sell a job for 1200 bucks, paid for itself in a day. And I've had that thing for four years straight. And uh, dude, it's still running strong. So I, I must have done $25,000 in work with that thing in just the times that I've used it. So it's a pretty cool tool. And there you go. Hope you enjoy the little tips. I'm getting back to work. Like, share, and subscribe, and all that stuff. And peace. 20 grand in one week. And if you're smart about those chunks of money, and don't go out and buy a new bobcat or something stupid that you don't really need, and you take that 10 grand and you invest it properly, and then by the time you need that 10 grand, when you're 65 years old, that 10 grand could be a million.